What is going on everybody? My name is Prodigal Lion and today I have a quick little video for you guys regarding some news for the Call of Duty World War II Season Pass content including a new bonus map that will be available and that bonus map is called Carrington and if you've been following Call of Duty uh, news for a minute you'll know that, it ha that the Carrington bonus map had been leaked onto an Australian website about a month or two ago um, so we had kind of heard about it a little bit but today it was confirmed by Call of Duty and Activision um, and we actually got a picture of it. I'll throw it up here on the screen for you guys So the first thing I want to say about this map is it will be available at launch But only for the season pass holders So if you want to be able to play this map at launch You have to own the pro edition or the digital deluxe edition of Call of Duty World War 2 You have to have the season pass for it if you want to play it which I think is kind of I don't know I think it's kind of dumb. I think they should allow something like this to be available um, just in the main standard edition of the game, and they and they, if they're gonna and then just have like separate DLC map packs for the season pass holders. Like I think just one individual map should be fair, just be thrown into the, a standard mix of the maps. I don't think it's right that they put it with just the season pass, but it's um, it'll it looks like it'll be a very good map. Another thing I want to say is. Um, and when we first saw the leak for it, it was we didn't know if it'd be like a remake or a remaster uh, of the Call of Duty map, Call of Duty 2 map. Um, but it has been confirmed that this is going to be a complete remake. It's not going to be a remake of the Call of Duty 2 version or Call of Duty 4 version. Because if you know, in Call of Duty 4, Chinatown was a reimagined version of Carrington. So it's not going to be a remaster of either one of those. It's going to be a complete remake. Um, Sledgehammer built it um, completely from scratch. And it looks like it's going to be still uh, relatively close to the actual Carrington map. Because as you know, Carrington was a real place. It was a real um, like town that, that a World War II battle took place uh, in, in real life. So I, I, doubt, I doubt it'll change too much. They'll probably keep it uh, relatively close. I'd imagine actually that Sledgehammer might make it more closely into like what the actual town looked like than what the Call of Duty 2 map looked like. So on top of that, not only did we get to finally get the new map confirmed, but we also found out a little bit of what the season pass will contain, because we haven't really heard any news on what the season pass will be holding um, for this year's Call of Duty. So we finally got some confirmation in what it says. is The season pass will include four DLC packs, including new multiplayer maps, new chapters of Nazi, Nazi zombies, and all new war missions. And as, as you guys know, war is a new game mode in Call of Duty World War II. So um, if you played the uh, World War II beta, you'll know you'll know like how the feel of war, war went. But it was all just kind of the same thing. It was only on one map. It was only one set of missions you had to do. So I, I actually, I personally loved war. Uh, I'm very excited to see. Hopefully they add some more maps into war also because it, it, I think it, it'll get very, very stale if they, got, if they constantly just keep it on that one map. So I'd love to see them add more net, uh, maps into War. I'd also love to see what their new missions there are going to have in War are. And I'm also very curious to see what these uh, chapters of Nazi Zombies is going to look like. Because um, I'm typically not like one of the Zombies players in Call of Duty. But I think this year it, I'm going to be definitely checking it out. Typically I'm just a multiplayer person. But this year every aspect of Call of Duty looks amazing. I'm going to be I'm pumped for the campaign, the multiplayer, and Nazi Zombies. So usually I'm only excited for just the multiplayer. Um, sometimes the campaign's okay. And Zombies was pretty fun in Black Ops 2 but that was really about it this year it looks like all three factors of call of duty are going to be a blast and i think we're going to have a good year they haven't really uh said anything else about the season pass they haven't said any more specifics but i'd imagine that we'd also get some other little things here and there like maybe some weapon skins maybe a dlc um not a dlc but supply drops or something like that so I don't know. We'll just have to see as the year goes on. I think it's kind of unfair they're not being more open about what we'll be getting in the season pass. But if there's any more news about it, I will bring it to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more Call of Duty World War II content. And I will see you guys in the next video.